Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale with vinegar the K Slim Plus Ice. So I just did a video, I show you how to descale it with the Keurig solution. This is a little cheaper way to descale it. With white vinegar, you can get this for a buck fifty, 64 fluid ounces. It doesn't necessarily have to be distilled, but it should be white vinegar. So the K Slim Plus Ice just came out, it's got this over ice button. So is your descale light on? That descale light comes on after 250 brews. So this thing is counting how many times, how many brews you make. After 250, it automatically lights that light. The only way to get that light to go out is you gotta put the machine into a descale mode. So in the quick start guide that comes with it, they provide the descaling procedure. But if you look here, the maintenance alert, it says the maintenance alert reminds you to descale after two, every 250 brews. So they're calling this descale light the maintenance alert. And if we look a little further, to turn the descale notification, follow the full description of the descaling. We're going to be following this descaling procedure, but it's not written correct. Um, there's a step in here that's wrong. This, when hitting the brew over ice button and the 8 and 12 ounce does not put it into descale mode. we got to just do the 8 and 12. But we got to do a little bit of work first. So... This coffee maker does not come with a water filter, but if you installed one, it takes the tall handle water filter. We're going to remove it and leave it out for the duration. Normally, the coffee maker comes just like this. But now we're going to remove the reservoir. We're going to go empty. Whatever water you have in here, go empty it out. Okay, so you're going to need kind of like a measuring cup, but I'll show you. So we're going to, we're going to put 14 ounces of pure <coughs> vinegar in the water tank. So let's fill this up to 14 right there. So 14 ounces is pretty much about almost two cups. You're gonna pour that right into the water tank. Now we gotta add a 50, we gotta add a one to one ratio of, of just water. So take this over to your um, sink, fill it up to the 14 ounce with just fresh water. Okay, so I filled this up with just fresh water and now I'm gonna dump the fresh water in here. That's all we're gonna put in this water tank. We've got a 50-50 solution of vinegar and water. I got my water tank installed again. So lift your handle, make sure, we're not gonna put a cake up, make sure there's no cake up in here. Leave this empty, but we do need this little basket in here. So make sure the cake cup holder is in. Close the handle. We're gonna leave the candle closed for the entire duration. Make sure you've got a container that can hold 12 ounces. This thing's gonna run 12 ounces through each time. So make sure you've got a kind of a big container and it's gonna be really hot. So we have to start with the unit powered off. You leave it plugged in, so leave it plugged in, but see how my lights are on right now? That means it's powered on. So the way to unpower it is to unplug it and then plug it back in. So when I first plug it in, the unit is powered off. Now don't lift the handle or press a button, it will turn it on. This is where we need to start. Now the manual says, this is the over ice button. It says to press this button, the 12 ounce and the eight ounce, all three at the same time, but it didn't work for me. We want it to go into descale mode by having the descale light come on. I found out that just pressing the eight and the 12 for three seconds puts it into descale mode. Once that descale light comes on, let up on the eight and the 12, your big K button is flashing. That means we're in descale mode. So now we're simply going to press the K button. That's going to brew that, that vinegar and water through the machine to clean out the inside and the heating element. Each one of these, um, it takes about, about a minute to run that through. Start to finish, you're going to have to give yourself about 20, 25 minutes. Now it's very important that we keep the machine in descale mode for the entire process. Because we're going to run two of these through. It's going to run this through, the water and vinegar, and then it's going to get down low and the add water light's going to come on. Now you don't have to wait until your descale light comes on to descale the machine. You can still put it in descale mode without that light being on um, and descale your coffee maker every three to six months. But if your light does come on, it is time to put it into descale mode. And again, I'm in descale mode. The descale light's on. I'm brewing my first water through or my first vinegar and water through. Okay, so this one's done. I'm gonna go empty this out. Be careful, this is hot. 
put my container back. I still have some more solution to go through, some more vinegar and water. My add water light did not come on, but now my K button is flashing again and I'm still in D scale mode. Press the K button. Now at the end of this brew, the add water light's gonna come on and it's a very important step that you don't touch anything. Okay, so it's done brewing the second cup through. My add water light's gonna come on. Okay, the add water light came on. At this point, we're gonna come around to the back. We're gonna remove the water tank. We still have some, some uh, vinegar and water in there. I'm gonna go empty that out and rinse this out with soap and water and get it nice and clean. Okay, I've got it nice and clean. Now I'm gonna fill it up to the max. I'm gonna fill it all the way up to the max line with just fresh water. Okay, so I've got the water tank filled up with just fresh water. Go ahead and reinstall it. So during this entire time, we've stayed in descale mode. My add water light went away because I filled the tank up. I'm still in descale mode because the light is on. I gotta make sure that's empty. Press the K button because it's flashing. Now these are fresh water rinses. We're gonna keep doing these fresh water rinses until the add water light comes on again. But the add water light's not gonna come, it's gonna go down to about here. You won't see the add water light come on. What you'll see is the coffee maker is gonna shut off. The descale light's gonna go away. And that means you've come out of descale mode. And now the light should be reset for another 250 brews. Again, during this entire operation, I haven't touched any other buttons except when the K button flashes, I press it. I took the water tank on and off. I didn't lift a handle. I didn't do anything to disturb the descale mode. If you come out of descale mode, you gotta start all over again. Okay, so there's the first fresh water rinse. Put another container in. My K is flashing. Press the K button. It turns steady. I'm still in descale mode. And again, I've got to do, I think, three or four of these to get this water all the way down. This should be enough to rinse out whatever vinegar and water was inside your machine. Okay, there's the end of the second one. Put another container down. The K is flashing. Hit the K button. We've still got a little bit more water to go. Okay, so we're finishing up with the third one. We've got some water in there. I'm not sure if the, if the add water light's gonna come on now or not. Okay, we, okay, yeah, there it did. It came out of descale mode. See how the light turned off? It turned all the lights off. Your add water doesn't come on, but when we fill it back up, it will. We, um, we came out of descale mode. Your descale light now should come, should be off. And now we can just, we need, even though we've got some fresh water left in here, that's fine. Just fill your tank back up with water. See, if I lift the handle now, my add water light is on. I'm out of descale mode. And all I gotta do is add some water and it'll be ready to use. Okay, I filled my water tank up. My add water light's out. This thing is just like a normal coffee maker now. I can brew whatever I want. My descale light is out. I came out of descale mode, and now that is reset for 250 brews. Check out my next video. I'm going to show you this uh, needle basket here. Down inside there, there's a thing you can take apart. It gets really, really dirty. I'm going to show you how to clean the needles if, you're, if your um, case limb stops working. And again, I also have a video on the actual descaling solution. This costs about seven bucks. I think it works a little bit better. Thanks everybody for watching, and if you could, please like and subscribe.